and you go crazy. But they say uh, today over 1.4 million people in the U.S. identify as trans. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, would you say that it's becoming like a, 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 a trend? Yeah, like popcorn, like it's a trend. Like it's like some just hop on or like some people feel like they can get attention from. Like if I put on a wig, I can get attention and come out with this or like play with this. And that offends a lot of people that's really, really, you have people that you would have never known was trans ever or whatever the case may be. Like it's, it's, it's the deeper than what the fuck people like making it is, that's all. Like, and it ain't cool to play people like that. Like if I, just like with gangs and shit, you can't wake up and say you this and wake up and say you that, they gonna tweak with you, right? You can't play with nobody like gender, they race, none of that. Did you grow up gang bang? <laughs> you mentioned it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did my little shit. I didn't feel it, did my little shit. Okay. But by the time I got to like shit, I say, 18, I'm just like, I just wanted some money, like more money. So I wasn't really on all that. it. Okay, so in your game banger days, your teenage years, were you Man, one of the girls teenager. or one of the guys? First of all, stop me with me. I was born one of the girls. Okay. Yeah. So, um, nah, because I'm trying to just picture, like, was you always, like, girly? Like, mm -hmm. you grew up girly? I was always me, like I was okay, always. Okay, so you ain't never had like no transition where, you know what I'm saying, you. Nah, I'm not just saying nah, right. nah. Okay, so, nah. okay. That's what I'm saying, but like, people you got, you know. yeah, like you got right. different things. Like some people gotta go through that, some people gotta, you know what I mean? Some people just born, like, you know, like, for example, the white one, I think her name Jazz or something like that. They gotta show up at her shit like that. Some people just born like that. Hmm. Like serious born like that. And I'm speaking from existence. Dwayne Way, uh, so what do you call it? I forgot about her. Uh -huh. But it's a white one. It's some white one. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean to say that in a bit. It's a, it's a Caucasian one. <laughs> so when you get when, when you, so when you gave up the game banger style, you say you start you know making hustling, making your own money. Mm. Well, I was already hustling, but I just want the things I wanted to do. I couldn't do that if I was like you know want to be around. Screech and shit like, you know what I mean? That's what I mean by that. But I was still like dipping and dabbing here and there. I mean, I want to have fun. Right. What's fun about hanging out in the streets? See, your friends and shit like, oh, like your friends. See, I be happy. Yeah, yeah. I just like to be around my friends. When you was getting arrested and going to the uh, Audi home as, as, a, as, a, as a child, what was it for? I had caught a gun case. And then I was a booster, so I had them two cases, and that was just it. Boosting was a lifestyle? It was a hustle and a lifestyle. I say more of a lifestyle, though, because I did it every day. And then, like, on top of that, like, I was known for it, so it's like, it became my lifestyle. That's why I said by the time I turned 18, I wanted to do something else. Like, I just wanted to put all that shit behind me. Can you tell us about one of your best boosting days? <laughs> I can't tell you about my best, I like best one. Stuff. I can't tell you about my best one. But I had one when I dipped up at this store down town. I ain't gonna say what store, but I dipped at this store down town. And I guess like I, I don't know, for some reason they feel like all boosters look alike or like oh what's the called? I got up at the store with my little shit, but like the next day, it was on the news and all that, but the next day they had wanted to catch somebody else for it and stuff. Mm -hmm. So that was the only reason. But the big, big thing I ever hear like was like a lot of purses. Like I like to get a lot of purses, and I like it to get like shit that's gonna sell, like shit that's like over at least five hundred. Or like if I'm doing like the the petty shit, it'd be like from like JBs or little shit motherfuckers win. How many times you got caught? One. Just one. Mhm. Mm and that, but me already having the gun case though. When I got caught for that, that's what just made it worse. I'm like, mm. cause they let me, they let me go for that. But I was on house for shit like that, but it caused another case. I was on probation and all that. So. Right. And so you gave up that lifestyle when you, when you mm -hmm. grew up, turned 18. That was, what, what was the change, of, what was the turning point at age 18? I uh, could, it was just like, I thought could, like I had started like going behind in school. I had started like, it was just like getting big, like 
But uh, it's like going to be like, what you finna do with your life? Like, and that ain't the life I here want. Like, I, I even had to start going to school at the courthouse and shit. Like, they got a little court, uh, um, a school upstairs from the argument on the courtroom, whatever. They, I had to go there. I wasn't doing that. Like, I just want doing what I'm supposed to do. And I suffered a lot for that. Like, a lot. And you can't make up time, so that's how I was just like, damn, I gotta chill out. And then I calm down and I here just got it together. And then, like, shit just start to find a place for me. And to a certain shit start happening. Yeah. So what's uh what's 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 your um every day now? You know your day to day. What's the day to day for Grand Montana? Shit, I be the I be with my friends, writing, take um taking pictures, just looking at um what the fuck my goals is, writing down my goals, my plans, my future and shit like that. Mm. Trying to make it out actually. Like I've been in Chicago all my life. Like I wanna. I know it's most shit up there, cause I done seen like all the damn near all the season shit by me growing up and hustling and shit like that. But I'm ready like to be out of country, like you know what I mean. I don't really want to live here no more, type shit. You want you want to relocate out the country? Mm -hmm. Right. That's that's deep. It's like I don't see no point in me moving. If I'm, I feel like I don't see no point in me moving from here, like unless it's big, big. I don't play no point of me moving to another state because shit is like, it's a state. Besides uh, moving to another country, are there any other like uh, short term goals or aspirations you, you look forward to? Yeah, uh -uh. like I said, the music, the fashion. I want to be a full time model though. Like on the runway, all that. Like real, real, real modeling. So, like America's I mean, Next Top yeah. Model? Type of like yeah, like I wanna do that in yeah, reach. It's like I wanna like at like on top of each other basically. But even though I got a patch from music, I just wanna on top of each other basically because let's go hand to hand. A model a model and a rock. It's possible. What's the pros and cons of having a BBL? Mm, depending um uh, depending on like your your health and like what you eat, like, you know, like a lot of girls got like, be having like thyroid problems. A lot of problems basically like complications that they already be having before they go get it and shit. So that be causing more shit. I haven't had no complications, thank God. And then there, I like too much know is like some people be having like, it be like hard and shit like that, other people don't. But I don't really know too much complications cause I haven't went through it. And people that do go through it, they don't say nothing. So it's like, they won't really never really tell you. So you had two of them, mm -hmm. meaning like you had to go get more work done to the first one? Not like necessarily go get it done because I was so young, like when I started off, I went the illegal way. So when I stepped into like the, the big people field and shit, I had to like do certain shit to like, you know, for them to fuck with me. So that's how that went. Like you know how like a lot of scrippers and stuff, like they go get air shots and shit like that. And then... When they get that BBL, they gotta do this, do that. That's basically what it was. You a former dancer? No. What's the difference between the ass shot though and the uh, and the, and the BBL? The BBL is the fat. The ass shots is like the silicone. Like breast? I mean, like butt implants? That's what they mean. Butt implants. No, you the same thing. Okay, boom. Okay, you got it. Like, you got butt implant. Is the silicone inside? It's inside this little big thing, which is supposed to be in. The other one is liquid silicone where it's just loose. And that ain't supposed to be inside. So then the BBL is just like the fat. Where they take fat from the LL and just put it back there. Right, right, right. Right. DJ, you go crazy!